welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Riri and I love first impressions. This is going to be a full face, full video of first impressions. I have the Zoeva foundation. I'm going to be trying the new Eco Tool sponge that I have, some Urban Decay. I love their all nighter setting spray, but this is the honey one. Um, the Nabla highlighter, super stoked. Um, a Laura Lee lippy. A Too Faced Born This Way Radiant Concealer. Um, I know I'm late to the party, honeys, okay, but I've never tried it, so we're going to try that today. Finally, getting into my Hourglass Ambient Light and my Jackie Aina palette. So pretty much everything that I've kind of picked up recently in my, like, holiday hauls, um, Black Friday, etc. So I'm really excited, and we are going to jump right in. I am already kind of moisturized slash primed with my Touch and Soul Glassy Skin, uh, what is it called? Glassy Skin Balm. I'm really loving this stuff a whole lot. Like, I've used a lot of it. Um, it smells good. It feels really nice. Definitely, definitely hydrating on the skin. Really enjoying it. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right on in, y'all. Um, excuse my brows. Y'all know I'm, mom was growing them out, so it kind of sucks growing your brows out. <laughs> oh, that is glass. That feels really nice. So this is the Zoeva Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation. I got the shade 100W Confident. Inspired by Zoe's vision that every woman should feel comfortable, beautiful, and confident, Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation was designed to allow you to build your perfect coverage whenever and wherever you feel you need it. Enhanced with the nurturing power of rosehip oil, ooh, it glides on to give a smooth and weightless finish, allowing your skin's natural luminosity to shine through. Does this sound like me or what? Okay. Um, it is designed, made in Italy, and designed and distributed by Zoeva Frankfurt, Germany. Beautiful glass bottle, nice and heavy. That is really stunning. And I'm assuming it's one ounce. Yes, 30 mil, one ounce. So I'm gonna shake it up. And y'all know these are longer videos. I like to do things in real time so you can actually see how things apply, how do things blend out, etc. So it is in a pump. I'm gonna see if it locks. I don't believe so. Nope. All right, well, we're just gonna. Oh, that is making a lot of noise. It's actually thicker than I thought for being a luminous foundation. I'm going to smell it. I don't smell anything at all. Okay. I'm going to go in with, of course, a flat top kabuki brush and then show you guys half. Oh, that's very yellow, honey. Mm, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, but you guys know I like to stipple in all my not so perfect little areas. And then when I have most of the product off the brush, I will then very softly start going into the rest of my face and really kind of blending everything out in more of like a circular buffing motion. Oh, that's really pretty so far. Oh, okay. Um, you guys know my skin is very, very dry. Like right now it's actually peeling a lot. Um, kind of getting on my nerves and it's not even actually like winter, winter time yet. So that's a little disappointing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll see if it kind of clings to my dry patches and all that good jazz. Yeah, it's definitely going on really beautifully. We're going to get up into the ears just because she's a little bit warm for me, darlings. The finish is really beautiful so far, though. It is blending out really nicely. Sorry, my camera cut off. Um, anyways, I was saying that it's blending out really beautifully. It feels really nice on the skin thus far. Um, but I don't see as much luminosity as it's kind of saying that it should have. Um, and normally that glassy skin balm really hydrates my skin. Like really, really does a good job of that. You guys know I don't bring my foundation all the way up. I kind of say right under here. Um, if I'm not going to use concealer, then I will do that, but... Okay, other than it being a little bit warm, so far so good. But we'll blend all that out, no worries. So I'm going to get close, get a little closer. So you can see, um, it says medium coverage, right? It just says natural luminous foundation. 
I think it has pretty damn good coverage. Um, you can see that it covers my little friends, all of my rosacea, my broken capillaries and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I definitely, I do see some little bit of luminosity coming through. I would typically like more. We'll see how it sets over the course of the video. Um, the match isn't bad. It's just slightly yellow, but we'll see again, you know, it may oxidize. Um, we'll see how it kind of actually goes into the skin, but so far so good. I really like it. And I only use that little bit. I still have a little bit on my hands. So I'll do another little pump. That feels really nice though. Like really substantial. Like the actual component feels really nice and really heavy. Which I appreciate very much. Again, bulk of the product. And all my little problem areas. <laughs> and then I'm really careful around my nose. Because that's where I get really dry at. So I kind of pat the product in and kind of pull it away from my nose and my laugh lines. And then whatever little bit is left on, we will start to buff it out. Yeah, so far so good. I don't see it clinging anywhere yet or kind of like sticking to any dry places yet. Let me get it up into my ears just because it's not a perfect much. Yeah, so far so good. Why is my hand up here like, hey? <laughs> so get up into the hairline. Ooh, wowie. That is really, really pretty so far. Ooh. All right. So far living up to the hype. So far. I'm going to kind of just press this little area out. I'm really struggling with these little teeny tiny short bangs to like keep them up while I do my makeup. <laughs> Um, gonna take some getting yields too. Um, and then I'm going to actually go ahead. No, because that may not be super moisturizing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my face like I always do. You guys know this. I'm just using my pretty fresh. <laughs> it's like heaven in a little bottle. Definitely like heaven in a bottle. I love this stuff so much. So I've done that. I'm actually gonna open up my little eco tools binge here. And I got this because I already know that I like Eco Tools, Eco Tools sponges, but this one is like a true like diamond shape and it's really pointy here. So I think it'll be really good for right here. I'm hoping that's the plan. So I'm going to press out any kind of creasing first. Yeah, I don't see it creasing or anything like that yet. It is a little on my lids, but not actually on my skin. All right. Another hair here, my bad. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into this Too Faced, Born This Way. I got the shade Light Medium. Um, I did get this from Marshalls in my little Marshalls haul that y'all saw, and it was like eight bucks. Um, so maybe a little dark, but I'm just kind of trying it for right now. I like the doe foot on it. I don't like how it smells. Yeah, it's got a pretty strong scent to it. I actually think the color is okay. It's not going to be brightening. It's going to be more skin tone shade. I typically like a more bright um, concealer for under the eye and then like a skin tone for kind of pressing in and um, like spot concealing. Oh yeah, that fits really nicely in there. I don't wet my sponges typically when I'm just doing, um, you know, like pressing out my concealer and stuff. That's actually a really good color. All right, it's blending out good. I don't find that it's got a lot of coverage. Mm, does it say that it's full coverage? No, naturally radiant. Okay, so that's cool. Ooh, that blended out really nicely. And it is hydrating. I do see a little bit of luminosity under the eye. I like this little sponge. Actually, the point is a little soft, though. I think I'm going to switch it around and kind of really buff it in. Keep getting freaking eyelashes down. Oh yeah, I like that. I mean, you guys know that I like a more skin-like finish. And then I'm gonna hurry up and set this. I'm gonna get it pressed out. So far, so good, I'm liking that. I'm just gonna go in with my little Essence Brighten Up Powder. 
Um, you guys have seen me use this four million times. I love it. <laughs> if I can find my brush. <laughs> Normally I set out all my brushes and like any tools I'm gonna use and I kind of am slacking. And I just use the tiniest little bit of powder. You guys know this. I'm not a powder person. I am so dry, okay, honeys? Ooh, I am loving how my skin is looking so far. If you hear my son, I do apologize. It's the weekend. Thing get kind of crazy around here, you know. All right. I am seeing some little bit of settling around my forehead and stuff like that. Um, it's not bad. We'll see how it wears. All right. So far, so good. So far, I'm liking everything. Now I'm really excited because I'm going to finally get into my hourglass palette. <sighs> I've wanted this for so long, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm very excited. Um, I do think the component is so beautiful and so stunning, but like literally as soon as you touch this, you guys, like it looks like trash and it starts looking not the greatest. Um, but I guess it's supposed to be like a finishing powder, um, two finishing powders, a strobing powder, which just kind of highlights, you know, illuminates, um, a bronzer, a strobing blush, and then a standard blush. Um, I've never used this, so I don't know really how to use it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's really beautiful and I'm really excited in and I've wanted it for a long time. It's been on my wish list. So I'm actually going to go into that same little brush and go into this lighter vanilla, I guess, ethereal powder, ambient powder. And I'm going to feel it. Oh, they feel so soft. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to, oh, that is very illuminating. Oh, baby. Mm -mm. Okay. And just again, not a whole lot. You know, I can't do a lot of powder. Ooh, that's pretty. It does have a little slight little bit of a luminosity, nothing crazy. Okay. I think I'm gonna go into a more kind of fluffy brush. This is my Jeffree Star and Morphe, the JS1 brush. And I'm actually gonna go over both of these shades right here. Again, this feels like silk. Ooh. And I'm gonna very lightly press into these and kind of go all over the skin. Hopefully it doesn't end up too dark. Um, people have told me, though, that these go on very sheer. Oh, yeah, I do see a little bit of radiance. And maybe this isn't the way you're supposed to use it. This is kind of what I want to use it for. Just kind of all over to just kind of set and give myself that little bit of kind of radiance to the skin. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. Sorry, y'all. I have new camera settings, like my son reset my phone or whatever, so it can record in a higher quality or whatever, so it keeps cutting off on me. Um, and then, obviously, these are not, that's that's definitely not dark enough to contour, not for me. Um, so I'm going to go in and use that on the same JS1. Again, they feel very, very soft. And they all have, like, just the slightest little bit of lumino Ooh, luminosity to it. Oh, my God, that's so pretty. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And you guys know, especially after now seeing my entire makeup collection, that I, you know, I love luminous every damn thing. Okay, guys? <laughs> that is stunning. This would be beautiful on very fair skin, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I like that. I normally go, of course, y'all probably already know this from my uh, collection videos, but... I normally like to go very, very warm on my bronzer, but this is like enough because it's slightly luminous and it's giving me just a little zhuzh. Plus, I obviously get a lot more fair or light in the wintertime. I'm tempted to go ahead and spray again before I try the blush, but I'm also wanting to be really fair to this, but it's a lot of powder and I'm getting a little nervous. Yeah, that's giving me like... Okay, I really like that, you guys. Oh, and I was so scared, like y'all know, like even in my comments after I posted that I had gotten this. Um, I have been so nervous because I was like, girl, that was expensive. I mean, I know it was on sale and stuff like that. I know it's something I've wanted for a very long time. Um, but I don't buy stuff like this for myself. Not quite this expensive. Um, but everybody was like, girl, you're going to love it. It's beautiful. 
And with me, the main reason I wanted to try it is because it does claim to have this very beautiful ambient lit from within type of light effect. And I am seeing that for sure. But it's not glittery. glittery. Um, it's not heavy or anything like that. I don't feel overly dry yet. Um, I think I am going to spray before I do the blush. And then I'll go and do the eyes. And then we will kind of go from there. Only because I don't, I don't want to feel too dry. <laughs> and I would normally do this anyway, regardless of what products I am using. You guys already know that. I'm going to take the little booty side of the booty blender. And you guys know I just like to kind of press it through very softly. Um, this is not going to take up your makeup, guys. I know a lot of people think that, but it doesn't. You're really softly just walking it across. You're not tugging it and pulling up makeup. I love this so far. The only thing I'm not liking is that foundation is definitely settling through here. But oddly enough, it's not settling under my eyes or right here where foundation normally does. So again, we'll see how it wears. Um, you know, as my the little bit of natural oils I have actually start coming through, we'll see what happens. Um, I think I'm just going to stay in the same brush. No, I want something a little softer. I'm going to go into my little Luxie tapered highlighter brush. I use it. I love the way that this just really softly like puts the blush on and just diffuses it. It's, it's just, I love this brush a lot. So I'm going in, of course, into the blush and I'm actually going to mix the two. I'm kind of nervous with this one. Let me see how, oh, that's not bad at all, actually. Yeah, I definitely think if you have fair skin, you can you could use this palette. I really do believe so. Oh, and you can you can see just that little bit of luminosity. Again, not glittery, not metallic, not crazy. And this brush again, because the bristles are so kind of open and not firmly packed, it's just gonna give you that little tiny wash. I'm still gonna take it easy and tap it off a little bit because I'm still scared. <laughs> and I always like to start. Oh, bitch. I like to start at my apple in a circular motion, just so it's really soft. And then I kind of walk it up into the hairline. And then I also, I like blush everywhere. If you don't, do you. Okay, there's no wrong way. And same thing over here, circular motions. And I stay away from this area here. The purpose for myself personally is to kind of keep everything back and lifted. So mama doesn't look older as fat. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. I like it. And I feel, like, I feel like it's really easy to blend, too. Very easy. I don't know how this would work on medium to deep skin tones. For sure, this is not going to work on deep skin tones. Um, and I don't even know for myself when I'm actually more, like, tan in the shade tan um, in the summertime. I don't know if it would work then, even for myself. But I love how it's very soft, like, very diffused. Like, for right now, for, like, fall, winter. Beautiful. Oh, I'm loving it. I love the luminosity that I'm getting, but I don't feel like it's too much. And nothing is like, you know, kind of showing off my wrinkles or anything. Again, I'm just, just right in here where the foundation is settling. But shit me, honey, so far so good. I'm very excited. Very excited. So I want to see how it wears, but I'm happy I got it. And thank you guys so much too for like encouraging me and like saying, hey, it's okay. You're going to love it. It works beautifully. So thank y'all for that. Now, um, I'm going to hop off. You guys know I haven't really been doing my brows. I take my little, how would I say, I want to say well endowed every time. My brow endowed by Urban Decay. And this is the shade Brunette Betty, I'm pretty sure is the shade I have. Yes. Um, I just run this through, run the primer through, run the color through, and then that's basically it. I haven't really been doing my brows because I'm growing them out. So, B R B. All right, I am back. As you can see, it just kind of picks up on any little hairs and stuff that I don't normally see, darkens them up a little bit. I'm I'm feeling myself right now. Okay. Um. Next, we're gonna go into the Jackie Anna. Jackie, 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 Jackie. I love you, girl. Even though she will never know I exist, but I love Jackie. I love her honesty, her candor. She is skilled as fuck, and I can watch her and also get beautiful inspiration for my beautiful women and men of color that I do makeup on. So. And she also did not get the credit that I think she deserved for this beautiful fucking palette. Um, so it is the ABH and Jackie Ina palette. Here is what she looks like up close and personal. I will do a couple swatches with you guys and then you guys know I will put a picture right there. Um, so I think I'm going to go into Zwala's, which is this beautiful gold. Oh, bitch. Mm, that's pretty. Credit, which is a yummy chocolate brand. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wowie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, that is quite pigmented. Again, my camera shut the freak off. I'm so freaking sorry, but oh my god, yo. That freaking chocolate brown is amazing so far. And I also want to go into sponsored. It is this beautiful duochromy goldy, greeny, purpley beautifulness. I don't even know how to explain it, but oh my god, you guys. Get in there, baby. Get in there, honey. Get in there. Ugh, my camera hates me, you guys. I'm so freaking sorry. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Hey, I'm going to stay right here. There is the brown. There is the Dwellers. And there is Sponsored. And I kind of overlap them. Oh, bitch. I love that color right there. Let me do Dwellers again. You guys. <sighs> Okay, so anyways, I'm really excited. Okay, let's go in. Um, I think, of course, I don't normally do just something simple because I don't want to be here for 400 hours. Um, and I know y'all don't want to be here either. Of course, grab your snack, your water, your tequila, your tacos, whatever you want to eat, drink, whatever. I'm going to take a super, super fluffy brush. This is an SL Miss Glam um, SS57. I hope that's what it says. Um, I don't know, I can't see very well. And I'm actually going to start in Ginger which is a pretty light warm brown. Um, there's quite a bit of kickback in the pan. Y'all know I don't give a shit about that, okay? And I'm actually gonna come way, way higher than I normally come. Oh my God. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, okay, oh my God. Just fluffy brush and I'm really taking it all the way up, almost literally to the brow bone. Oh my gosh. I love that. That's really pretty. And pigmented. And it's blending well. Let me find out I'm already shooky wooky in two seconds, y'all. Um, but definitely tap your brush. Again, I'm gonna come all the way across. And you guys know I like to come kind of all the way in. Oh, that is blending like a freaking dream. Also keep in mind too that Jackiana is a beautiful woman of color, so she definitely wanted to make sure that she made a palette thankfully, that works on darker skin tones. Um, and if you are someone that does have fair or, you know, fair skin, light skin, um, all you have to do, guys, is go in with a very soft, open, fluffy brush at first. Tap off your brush really well and just work it in really softly. Um, remember, the more soft and kind of open and fluffy the brush is, the less amount of pigment is going to come in on it, on your lid. Um, that is also why when I do like my contours, I mean my bronzer and stuff like that, I use my big Judy brush. <laughs> my big Judy brush. Um, because it just makes it really soft and it's more of like a diffusion of color and not stark. And you guys know I really like to pull those shadows out. That is just my personal preference. You do you. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's very, very nice. Very beautifully pigmented. I'm actually going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and go back over just the edges a little tiny bit yeah that's beautiful that's really really beautiful and again i like to come all the way up especially excuse me now that my bangs are like micro bangs and then my brows are not really you know getting done lately i really have been enjoying doing this Ooh love so far love um i'm gonna go into edges which is a really beautiful kind of warm orangey brown has like a lot of red to it and i'm going in with a flat but thick shader brush smudger brush this is a danielle eyeshadow blender brush i mean you guys the pigment here is no joke i'm definitely gonna tap this off really well and i'm going to start pressing and kind of coming across really softly because I'm kind of scared <laughs> oh that's so pretty yeah I definitely I love Jackie Ina I know that there's been a lot of controversy around her um kind of her just speaking her mind which I think is ridiculous first and foremost 
we live in a country where like that's supposed to be okay you know um also when you are someone that is in the limelight so to speak i think so often that people that are larger influencers etc actors actresses and things like that i don't always feel like they use their platform in the best way um meaning charitable things meaning having a voice for other people um and i love that i love that she is a voice for people of color and here's my thing okay because i even have some friends who are like i can't stand her and she's racist and she's this no she's not she proves a point she says what's on her mind and here's my thing when people say white people this or i hate when white people this She's referring to the white people that do this. <laughs> um, and I think that's where the, I guess, miscommunication kind of is. Like, I don't take her offensively at all. Um, even with, like, the whole thing that, like, you know, white people or white women don't say excuse me. Um, I didn't take offense at it because they say excuse me to everybody. And I'm polite to everybody. Um, if you're an asshole who happens to not ever say excuse me and you're rude, then maybe you're the person she was talking to. Um, but yeah, I, I love her. I love anybody. Um, like I'm someone that loves Simon Cowell. I'm someone that loves Gordon Ramsay. Um, I like anybody that is going to speak their mind. Um, you know, and there's a difference in just kind of speaking your mind and being cold and callous. And I think that's, you know, where a lot of people, you know, kind of don't understand that part of things. I got one little tiny flake right there. Aside from that, I'm not getting any fallout whatsoever on my actual face. Um, and I know I'm taking a while on this, you guys, but I'm literally laying my brush on and then tapping it off because it is so fucking pigmented. Um, and I just don't obviously want to overdo it. I like to softly and slowly build this up. Um, but so far, they're working beautifully. But yeah, I appreciate people, um, especially being one of those people. <laughs> That speaks my mind. I am a nonconformist. I am not going to kiss anybody's ass for anything. I don't give a shit. Um, and I've lost friends because of it. I've lost family members because of it. Um, but this is me. And I, my goal is never, ever, ever to hurt anybody. I would never intentionally hurt anyone. Um, but I'm also not going to sit idly by why people do dumb shit. But yeah, I mean, I love that about her. I love that she's just fun. She embraces life and stuff like that. You know, she takes everything with a grain of salt. You know, she doesn't get, you know, she doesn't become an asshole to people because someone, you know, says something. Let me wipe that away. Ooh, that's really beautiful so far, you guys. <laughs> okay, so while I'm still in edges and credit, I'm going to go into a little tiny, tiny little flat brooch. If I can find my little tiny, tiny flat brooch. Hello. Hello. I have a lot of dirty brushes right now, you guys. So, um, my pal's kind of dwindling away in here. <laughs> Because I've been lazy. I literally have an entire drawer full of uh, dirty brushes. Yeah. Um, I'm just going bleh, I'm just going to go into this little... I don't even know where the freak this came from. I know it was from BoxyCharm. If anybody remembers what set that was. They had like gold handles on them. Because um, I don't remember. But I'm going to go into both the credit and edges. Which is the warmer and then the chocolate brown. And you can see the amount of cake back in here. But again, that doesn't bother me. You can We can... The proof is in the pudding, okay? So I'm going to take credit first. That is the deep, dark chocolate brown. You guys know whatever I use on top, I bring it down to the bottom, and I like to meet them together. Oh, God. Oh. Definitely work slowly, you guys, and definitely tap your brush, please. Because I feel like, honestly, if you were a beginner... Or not really feeling like, oh, it's not that pigmented, then bitch, you're gonna get you you're gonna get a little bit of surprise, okay? That is that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. You guys know that I love, 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 love having a deep, deep, deep dark chocolate brown that I can put in my outer corner and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna start kind of flicking it out again. You guys know I always pull my shadows out and then kind of get in this little triangle here. Ooh. Loving it. Absolutely loving it so far. And I know these videos are long for me, you guys, but I don't personally like, and I've watched YouTube for many, 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 many years. Um, I don't personally like when somebody's like, oh my God, look, tap, tap, tap. And then they put their brush down for 1.4 seconds and then they come back and their eyes done. 
How long did it take you to get there? Did you have to work them up? Did you blend them? You know what I mean? Like all these other factors can affect how, you know, a shadow performs on the lid. So I'm pulling it up and then getting in the, just in the very, very outer corner, bringing it all the way across. Again, staying really close to that lash line with this particular shade. I'm actually, I'm honestly actually pretty surprised and shocked that they are blending so well together because a lot of times when you have, you know, more heavily pigmented shades like this, especially kind of all in the same color family, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much like in browns, warmer tone browns and stuff, they can get muddy sometimes and I'm not experiencing that. So, so far so good. I'm going to go into a slightly larger brush. This is my Mark by Avon. I see no number. Um... It looks like this <laughs> and I'm going to go into edges and ginger just because I want kind of like the warmth, like the kind of honey, you know, color from the ginger tapping it off again. I mean, you guys, it, pick, it picks up a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. And then I'm going to kind of blow out the bottom lash line underneath that dark brown. Y'all pray for me. Okay, we're good. Whew. Oh, I like this a lot. I had a feeling I would though. Like this is actually a palette that I have seen people use and stuff like that and have seen the reviews on. Um, but I love it. And again, I feel like, you know, I feel like Jackie Ina and Carly Bible pretty much got shitted on in the whole era of, you know, ABH coming out with palettes back to back to back to back to back. And I understand it, you know, they're doing the whole Norvina collection and stuff. And, you know, of course she deserves that. But at the same time, I always feel like personally, you know, if I was a brand owner, <laughs> um, I am going to give you 30 days. I'm going to give you your 30 days of let's see what happens. Let's see if you sell out. Let's really, you know, kind of push it. Let's get your name out there. Let's let people know that your palette's out. And honestly, it was almost like, her palette came out and Carly's palette came out and it was crickets. And to be honest, I haven't even seen, I'm taking a clean brush, a little fair brush. I haven't even seen that many reviews on their palettes. Um, more I've seen of Carly's than I have of Jackie's, but I don't understand it. You know, you work all this time. I mean, Jackie's been doing this shit, so has Carly, for a very long time. And you do all this work and you invest your blood, sweat and tears and the thought process, I mean, even in her names, you know what I mean? Like Zwala's, like that's her, that's Jackie, you know what I mean? And like Supreme and Pinker and Big Wig and stuff like that. Like these are in her edges, like her code for her, you know, things are, is edges. Like I fucking love that. Like she's so true to who she is and she doesn't give a fuck. Like if you don't like her, don't watch. And I know a lot of people don't like that about her, but I think that's what I love. That's what I embrace about her. Like with Raw Beauty Christie, with Samantha Ravendahl, I don't want to sit down and watch somebody which I do. I do watch some particular influencers just because of their skill set, just because I enjoy watching or for the entertainment factor. Um, but for people like that, like Samantha Ravendahl, like Jackie Ina, I watch because I see myself in them. You know what I mean? And that's the type of, of YouTuber, person, human being, influencer that I'm trying to be, that I want to be and hope to be is first and foremost myself and real and raw at all times. You guys hopefully already know this. That's why I'm very vocal about my weight, my depression, my anxiety, things that are going on in my life, things like that. Because I feel like if I can help even one person, then I'm doing something right. And it's, you know what I mean? It, it makes me feel good because I've always stayed true to myself and sometimes that doesn't fare very well. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I want to watch people that I can relate to, people that I know are not kissing a brand's ass, people that I know are going to be honest and be like, girl, this is trash. Or, girl, this is great. You know what I mean? And, like, I can believe what they're saying. And I know they're not trying to just sell me a line of shit like some people are. Okay? <laughs> wink, wink. Um, So, I'm good to hear. And I think I'm going to go into my, ugh, my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is almost gone. <laughs> my white one. Um, This is the one that I just used to cut my crease. I'm not necessarily cutting a full-on crease. I am coming right here. And I want to know too, I've only, well, I probably has me three to five months ish. Maybe I'm not really a hundred percent sure. I want to know if anyone else has experienced this changing its scent as quickly as I feel like mine is changing its scent. So I kind of look down like this, like close my eyes. 
open back up and then especially if you have, had, have hooded lids this really gives you a good baseline for where to start putting your shadow at I mean your um your concealer or whatever you're cutting your crease with and then I like to do a soft flat like paddle brush and I like to press in place first kind of stamp and again I'm not necessarily like cutting the entire crease here I just want to kind of Soften the look up through this area just so I can add a metallic shade because I'm really excited. And then just blending it and really defining that line right there. And same thing on this side, coming to the inner corner, following that little line that my eye actually naturally makes. And pressing it kind of stamping it in place and then I take and kind of just flick the brush in between both of those shades like in between the concealer in there and then I'm gonna just kind of take a look step back I'm happy with that and of course we'll go back in and deepen everything up I'm going to wet this brush with my color pops I ran out of my other Mac, but I had so many sprays open that I was like, oh, let me use those first. Oh, gosh. I wish you guys were here with me. <laughs> I kind of want to go into sponsor because it's freaking stunning. But this Zam is pretty Zam bomb, too. So is that home? Oh, they are. <sighs> I don't know. That wig Elise is bomb, too. Oh, why can't you guys be here with me? Fudge, y'all. I don't know what to do. I'm going to wiggly. No, I've already done kind of a cranberry shade. Am I going with Zam? We're going to see how that works. This is more of a pressed glitter. If you're not into those, don't use it. That's really soft. Ooh. ooh. All right, guys. Oh! Ooh. Hello, pretty girl. Again, same thing, following that line and then kind of pulling it down. Oh, mama, that was pretty. This would be a beautiful shadow topper as well. And I'm coming all the way over just to where those two start to meet. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mm, I love it. Same thing. Come up here and kind of pat it in place and then really kind of carve out this area that's beautiful and again i don't have any fall i had that one little chunk right here earlier but i'm not getting any fallout that's why i always say to like you know swatches don't mean shit to me you know a palette having a lot of fallout doesn't mean shit to me if it performs well on the lids, you guys, that's what counts. Um, also, staying power. Staying power is huge. Staying power, honestly, is probably the most important thing for me. I mean, of course, I want it to blend well and stuff like that. But, I mean, if you have to work a little bit, you know, I'm not mad at it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I like it so much. I think I'm going to go into Wigglies, maybe just on the outside, but not wet it. No, because I really, I'm liking the brown. I'm going to go back into the fluffy brush and go into the brown again. The credit. The deep, dark chocolate brown. And we'll just literally, guys, put it right here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then I'm going to go back into Edges and Ginger together. Again, less is more with this. Because they're very, very, very beautifully pigmented. And then I'm just going to kind of go over the line so that there's no craziness. And then I'm going to go back into this teeny tiny little brush. And I'm going to go back into Edges and Ginger again just intensify that line above our cut crease mm. 
And that's just to kind of give it that dimension and really give it kind of that separation of the two. Oh my God. Okay. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm going to take my little clean Morphe M433 and just, again, make sure everything is blended out. You guys know I do not like hard edges. Um, if you do, that's on you. You know, do what you want to do, honey. I appreciate it all. I love it all. There is no wrong way. I just don't personally like that. And I'm, again, coming almost all the way up into the brows. Now I think I'm going to go into Trust Issues. No, it's kind of greeny. Maybe Soleil. Mm, I think I might cheat as far as inner corner goes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to go into my little Amy Light thing. Let me see if there's something in here I can use. Yeah, I'm going to come right here into the finishing powder and diffuse light. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Trying to get used to it. It's a new palette for Mama. Okay. Try to find a little teeny tiny brush again. I really need to wash all my brushes. But that's the reason why I have so many because I know I can go forever pretty much and not wash them. So I'm just going to pop this. Not as much of a little blingy bling as I want there, but it's fine. And I like to always bring it up some. And then very softly go up here. I'm loving it. Awesome. <laughs> so I am now going to spray the Urban Decay one. We're going to try this, see how strong it is. Does it smell like natural honey? Does it smell like shit like that Morphe spray? Oh my God. I hated that stuff so much, you guys. So again, it is the Urban Decay All Nighter in the Honey Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I'm going to shake her up and let's get her ready. I actually don't smell anything. <laughs> Maybe a tinge of a smell. smell. I love the sprayers in the Urban Decay sprays. I still don't smell anything. Maybe it's just me. And then, of course, you guys know, I like to just take the butt of my sponge and very softly press it in all over the skin. This just makes everything, even if you have oily skin, you guys, um, you can still put too much powder on your face, even if you have oily skin. And this just kind of makes everything sink into the skin as opposed to sitting on top of the skin. And it just, my eyes right now, love. I'm going to go into my Morphe R36 highlighting brush. And we're going to open up our Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade Privilege. I don't really like this outer little component. It's cheap to me. Um, this feels kind of light and cheap to me as well, but it's really beautiful. So that is what she looks like. And then I will give her a little swatchy roo. Oh, oh, that feels, that feels very different. Very soft, but like a weird texture. Let me get back up here. Ah! There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that good. There we go. That's really pretty. It feels very soft and I'm really scared. Whew. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna go less is more first. That has a lot of kickback. Definitely a lot of kickback on here. But it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean it's not gonna perform well. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh. Oh yeah, I like that. Very, very pretty. That is really, really soft. It does have a lot that comes off and it's definitely kind of getting all over the component as well. Again, that doesn't bother me as long as she performs. Ooh, y'all. Mm. I feel like a, a sexy little glazed donut, y'all. I don't feel like it's emphasizing texture too much. It's blending really, really beautiful. It's not super, super blinding, which I'm fine with. That's okay with me. But it's very skin-like. It does seem like there's tiny little glitter particles, but I don't know if it's from this or from the eyeshadow, so I'm not going to judge that part. Oh, 
y'all i'm feeling myself honey and i'm gonna spray again you guys know that i do this every single time and then again it's literally just gonna make everything sit beautifully in to the skin as opposed to on top of the skin yeah i like that i like everything so far I am getting a little creasy right here in my nose. And of course, those two little spots up here in my forehead. Um, laugh lines are still looking great. My eyes are looking great. We're going to wipe off our uh, makeup lips. And I don't know how opaque the Laura Lee lipsticks are. So hopefully they're pretty opaque. Um, if not, next time I'll go in with a lip liner. Um, I love her component. It's so stunning. This is the shade Jaybird and it's a beautiful nude, of, of course. I mean, <laughs> it's me. All right. First of all, I didn't pull out and like sound on gloopy. Ooh! I have never smelled a fruity scented. Most of them either smell like minty or like vanilla, cupcakey, caramelly. It smells like. What does that smell like? Let me go back in. It smells like gummy bears or something, y'all. Oh, I love that. I love how it smells. I also like that the wand, let me get close again. It's not like super flat. It has like a little weird divot in it. I don't know how to explain it. And it's not focusing a fucking course. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, hopefully you can see it. There's like a cool little divot in here. Kind of looks like those weird funky ass shoes that Lady Gaga wore a long time ago with like the little weird arch. That's what it reminds me of. So we're going to go in. We're going to see how she works. Oh, that smells so good. Ooh. The shape of that really rests on the lips. Oh my God, that's pretty. Beautifully. Ooh. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God. It feels really nice too. Are these matte? I'm pretty sure they're matte. I hope it's matte. I mean, matte, matte like a lipstick. <laughs> Ooh, that is, mm, that is stunning. Y'all, people are not bullshitting. It feels very soft, almost kind of like a whipped texture to it. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, God. Very opaque. Smells nice, feels nice. I love it. It feels really beautiful. I, oh my God, that color is stunning too. It looks really, really pretty with this eye look as well. I just want to read this and just make sure. Oh, liquid lipstick. Doesn't say. So I'm gonna let it dry for just a second. Um, I don't have any new mascara. Well, I do, I have like a ton of new mascaras. I'm just gonna go in with my Il Maquillage real quick. Um, let this settle for just a second. And then we're going to get up close and personal. I love everything that I've tried. Everything. Everything. Oh my God. I'm loving the way my skin is looking too. Y'all excuse how my hair is going to look once I take it down because, oh actually, shit, it looks cute. <laughs> never, never mind. Lydia Dietz. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm like channeling my inner like 80s child. But okay. Well, I'll be right back with some mascara on. Um, Yeah. BRB. All right, beauties, I am back. Oh 
my damn honeys okay i am feeling myself for real for real for real for real i love everything for once i think because last time i even had a couple little duds um but yeah up close and personal as y'all can see um i do feel like everything is kind of settling just the tiniest little bit through my nose but my like mouth lines are fine around my eyes is fine um, and then of course like that little tiny little spot right through here, but I mean damn y'all I have lines We all have lines. We're human. We move, you know um, But yeah, I am feeling it. I love it so much This lipstick feels incredible. I don't think it's trans. Oh, maybe it is I guess it's transfer proof. <laughs> I didn't see anything about it. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it I love my hair. I love the makeup. I love everything the ambient palette is gorgeous um the Jackie Ina palette is absolutely stunning. Um, very nicely pigmented. Really easy to work with. Um, again, a lot of fallout. That doesn't bother me, but just letting you guys know. Um, and also, I would definitely err on the side of less is more and <laughs> use it with caution. Um, the lipstick is beautiful. I love the formula. I'm excited to try her palette as well. Um, yeah, I love everything. I think I look pretty damn good. But that is it, beauties. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. If you want to subscribe i'd love to have you be part of my beauty family and yeah i'd really appreciate it please always remember to be your own best beautiful bye beauties